the thing that Heston gave me through the interaction with the professors and the other students was a foundation to build on. God equipped Heston to equip young guys like me. That when I said, here am I, send me, as the prophet Isaiah says, I was able to go from that and build those blocks together on a foundation that has been solid. The building seems to have taken shape many different ways, many different times, many renovations. But the foundation has been strong that I've been able to build on. The Pastoral Ministries program at Heston College began in 1985 as a creative answer to two needs in the Mennonite Church. The first was training for people who heard God's call in midlife but could not realistically spend seven years in college and seminary. The second was for bivocational pastors who could serve small congregations while supporting themselves with another job. With the present shortage of pastors in the Mennonite Church, the need for Heston's program is more crucial than ever. The Pastoral Ministries program combines general education courses with a well-rounded concentration of classes in Bible, theology, peace and justice, and practical ministry skills such as preaching, teaching, counseling, and leadership. The program is designed to be completed in two years, but it can also be completed in three. Well, there are four things that we really try to do here in the Pastoral Ministries program at Heston College. We want to nurture our students in their sense of call. What is it that God is calling me to do, and who is God calling me to be? We want to nurture them as persons. We want to form them as Christians, as persons who pray and who have a relationship with God, and as persons who are self-aware, who know who they are and how they function in ministry situations. We want to give them a basic grounding in the Bible and in theology and in ethics and the things that they're going to need to know in order to be pastors. But we also want to form them then as leaders, as leaders of people, as leaders of congregations to help them to understand the dynamics of churches that they will be called to lead. My spiritual director at one point asked me, what is it that gives you the greatest sense of satisfaction and joy? And as I reflected on that, I recognized it was the times in my current job or my former job when I had a opportunity to speak one-on-one -on -one with people that were going through difficult times, uh, when we had opportunity to pray together. Uh, I found that when I was teaching Sunday school or when I was preaching, those were the times of my deepest sense of joy and satisfaction. And so one thing led to another and, and here we are. For us, the comfortable thing would have been to just stay put and to maybe take classes online. But we knew deep down that we were called to make this step of faith. And we also knew that even though it, be, it was going to be painful, and it was, but uprooting was going to be a, a good thing for us to get a, a broader world view, to increase our faith. And that's probably the biggest thing was not just our faith was increased by packing up and moving, but it was a great testimony to our kids to see faith in action by leaving behind everything that was f familiar and stepping out into the unknown. And I don't think you can have that experience by just staying put. So for someone who's even considering, I, I would say that what my pastor told us was that he would pray that the restlessness inside us would not go away until we answered the call. And that's exactly what happened. My biggest concerns would be, had been, for the children, they've adjusted, Spencer and Hallie, both of them have adjusted really well. During the first few weeks, um, we had a lot of tears and prayer and a lot of people here that we didn't even know that just stepped up and supported us. Living in Heston has been a, a great experience for our family. We have a park behind our house and ball games are going on and people are out in their yards playing and a lot of families. After being in business for about 18 years and, and then become a full-time student, took some adjusting. Uh, they, here they talk about you go through a desert experience and I would have to say that I went through that. But I was challenged uh, to really know my, my real identity. Pastoral ministry students bring life experience to the classroom 
Many of the students uh, have had a huge uh, change in their lives and they don't really realize what all they can do academically. And so it's really enjoyable to see them discover that they can think a lot better than they th thought and that they're smarter than they thought they were. And uh, with the life experience they bring, they can bring insights and um, understandings and learnings in the class and that other students don't. I want my students to fall in love with the Bible, to fall in love with the Bible even more than they, they already are, and to see how the biblical narrative applies to their lives, how it, how it relates to them, how to preach it, how to live it, and how it applies to a contemporary congregation. And I want my students to think theologically, to work on those skills, and to do that in an environment where, where faith is a viable option. CPE, or Clinical Pastoral Education, provides a way of learning and experiencing pastoral visitation and pastoral care in a hospital setting. Uh, the program uh, is offered uh, throughout the summer from June to the middle of August for those who are able to attend full-time. The program is offered uh, part half in a classroom setting and half uh, of the program is offered in the hospital visitation setting walking with them in their end-of-life journey, being able to be there with them as they say, how can I say goodbye? All this has an ex been an experience for me that has gone well beyond um, getting academic credits. It, it has been a humbling experience of inner growth which cannot be measured by our human terms. In Pastoral Ministers Formation, uh, we have four semesters and uh, we really think that formation is at the heart of what we of the program. Uh, we say that we minister out of who we are, and so personal and spiritual formation is really very foundational. In the first semester, uh, the first two semesters actually, students talk about where they have come from, and they uh, work at their identity in terms of their journey. And spring term then of the first year, they uh, look at their growing edges and how they want to grow. The third and the fourth uh, semesters then focus a little more on who they are in pastoring and uh, marriage and pastoring and uh, what kind of uh, situations uh, would fit them in terms of their self-assessment as well as the assessment of the, uh, of the faculty here. I think in the Pastoral Ministries program, we work really hard at, at, at developing the whole person, nurturing the whole person. I think we have a great combination of theory and practice. I think that we want to be practical, but, but we also want to really hone our skills for thinking theologically and thinking critically. As I look back on my time here at Heston, I would say it was some of the highlight of my life. I, I helped you understand the call that God had placed on my life at an early age that I ran from for many, many years. It was shaped and molded and it has equipped me to do the work that God has called me to over the last 15 years. <laughs>